Um, I don't know if what I'm doing or what I'm saying or what I'm thinking at the moment is actually on point. The title of the video is I'm trying to get the channel back on point. I'm trying to get it back to what I originally started it for and why I called it Fat and Ordinary. Now, I've said before, sometimes we all feel that way, a bit fat, a bit ordinary. Um, it's just part of the human condition, I guess. But ought to be five, six years ago now, 2017, so four, five years ago, uh, before I left Gladstone, I started to make... Well, it's on my other channel. It was uh, on Three Anzic Films. I uh, was going to do a series called Fat and Ordinary. And it was about the human condition and people's perspective, uh, people's perception of things and things like that. And since then, the world's changed. We've sort of become a, a society where, you know, big is beautiful and you can be healthy at any size and all these other things that aren't necessarily true, that don't have any basis in, well, fact science anything else and there's a lot of other things that have been happening in the world that the mantra of believe the science whether there's actually any science or not whether there's any science or not has actually been just braille beaten into us so then i wonder if 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 my reasoning for doing this and calling this fat and ordinary I'm wondering if I've been on point. So, I'm overweight. That's why I call it fat and ordinary. And I need to lose about, eh, what, a third of my body weight to be within a healthy range. Now, it's not necessarily a BMI that would be considered healthy by a lot of doctors because it seems to be a little bit antiquated the way they decide what a particular person of a certain height should weigh. So... I am going to get back into it. I'm going to devote one day a week to making a video about how I'm going to lose weight, what I'm doing to lose weight, what the science says about losing weight, because I don't necessarily think the science from website to website and doctor to doctor and uh, research material to research material that's in a paper form I don't think all of them say the same thing and I don't think all of them say the same thing for very, very, very drastic reasons. The statement of follow the money I think has always been true and never been debunked. So there's things that I've used that have made me feel substantially healthier and then I like fall off the wagon. It's like I'm... I don't know, shooting at random things off the back, back of a wagon in the Old West and then I just fall off and the wagon just leaves without me so I don't bother trying to climb back on. And that's a, an acute lack of zzz, an, an acute lack of discipline. That's a zero discipline on my part. That's where the zzz came from. I wasn't having a short circuit in my brain. I was thinking of the lyrics to a uh, Van Halen song. Zero discipline. So... One day a week, I don't know which, which day yet, but I will endeavour to sit down and say, hey, this is what I'm doing, this is why I'm doing it, and this is the results. Um, starting well, tomorrow's uh, Easter Monday, 2022, public holiday, I'm not going to... I might make a video, but it won't be that. So I'll sit down and discuss why I'm fat, why I love food, why I have no discipline on why I think or how I feel about it because at the end of the day the human condition is about feelings and even though I don't think a political discussion should be based on feelings or an economic discussion should be based on feelings or a, so or a society should be formed based on feelings I think for, at, a, at a personal level feelings are very important why, how, who all of these things are more feeling-based questions than reality-based questions. Because, you know, oh, who your parents are, they're just some assholes that didn't look after me. See, that's feelings, that's not facts. My father was a successful developer. It doesn't necessarily mean he's a successful human being or father. And my mother had psychological issues throughout her life that she 
using her zero discipline tried to rectify over the years and that was not a good thing either um <clears throat> so I'm not really going to talk about them because there's nothing I can do about them all I can do is talk about how it affected my childhood my past and as an adult what I've now noticed <clears throat> wow frog in my throat and I don't even eat frogs so that's my plan one day a week I'm still seriously thinking that I should do Theology Thursday, not because I'm necessarily a religious person, but because there is, well, there's three main Abrahamic religions and all of those Abrahamic religions, there's all sorts of different philosophical viewpoints in those Abrahamic religions that, that mean that they take a drastically different form in the society in which they exist. So that would be Judaism, Christianity and uh, Islam. Now I'm not an expert on Islam, not an expert on Christianity, not an expert on Judaism. All I can do is say, hey, this is how they differ, this is why they differ from a, a, a historical perspective. So I'm thinking about doing theolo Theological Thursdays and I'm even going to discuss with a couple of people that I know if they want to get in and say, hey, let's have a discussion. And there's modern theologies, which is uh, wokeism, and while well, politics has become more religious than logical. So there's another theology. And other than those two specific things, I don't really know. Uh, since I don't have a um, studio anymore. So basically, that's how big my studio is. It's a person, doesn't really fit anything else. I did actually, um, uh, there, hang on. I did actually manage to squeeze an air conditioner in here, so during the day I can make videos now. It was free, it showed up on Marketplace, I drove halfway across the city to get it, and it turns out that it actually works, and it works perfectly for the size of room that I have. It will be fairly noisy. So I can use it to cool the room down, make a video, and then move forward. Okay, I'm about done. That's more than enough time of me shooting off my mouth. <laughs> uh, so be excellent to yourself, be excellent to each other. If you can't be good, be good at it. And, uh, and what do I always say? That's all I've got to say about that. Hey, any of my normal normal view listeners, lis listen viewers, um, any, any of my friends that actually pay attention to what I'm doing here, if you've got any ideas at the moment that don't necessarily include guests, I still have the few videos that I'm trying to do and there's still a short film, actually there's two short films that I want to make, one's a joke, one's actually on point about the society around you changing rules or the people controlling the society around you changing rules i've still got those couple of things to make i haven't really done anything about it and i'm bad bad boy see i'm not scarred for life by that little spanking that i got anyway um yeah that really is all i've got to say about that